still can't believe it. I've actually seen the lion up close. Um, almost got our driver killed. Well, not me, but our driver almost got himself killed by and mauled by this lion. Um, so yeah, we've got a jam-packed two months ahead of us. Um, this video is just gonna get even better and better, I promise you. Yes, yes, my good looking people. Uh, right, so I've got some exciting news. So from tomorrow, I'm, uh, I'm going to Tanzania. You're probably wondering why, a little bit random, I know. So I joined this group called, what, well, organization called Workaway. You know, at the beginning of the whole process of making GLCT Good Looking Cooking Travel, the whole process began with the idea that potentially I can travel the world and just feed people. And just feed people for free. It's my ultimate goal, my absolute ambition, and uh, it's my dream to, to hopefully try and achieve that someday. It's a big step. Uh, it's going to be scary. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be a, a, a different thing for me, you know. I've never travelled for so long. It's, you know, obviously I'm travelling during the coronavirus pandemic as well. So yeah, it should be interesting. I hope you guys will enjoy the content. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side. finally made it we are on the way to Milan now and, and then from Milan to Turkey Istanbul after that to Tanzania let's do this <laughs> so we've just landed in Milan more we'll stop over here for about two or three hours and then the next stop is the Istanbul Turkey. See you there. Uh, so just got through the control and I've got literally 10 minutes to get to my flight. I've got 10 minutes to get to my flight and uh, yeah I'm kind of panicking now. I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. Right, so I've just been told that my plane is literally going real soon. I've got about five minutes. I'm running. We're gonna make it. We're definitely gonna make it, don't worry. I've got this, I've got this. Come on. Oh, um, good stuff. <laughs> I told you I would make it. I'm walking down the aisle. The beautiful aisle that is the airport aisle. <laughs> I'm off to Turkey. <laughs> Hello, buongiorno. Finally made it on the plane. We're almost there. So we're gonna go to Turkey first, and then the next stop, Tanzania. Lucky boy me. I haven't eaten in absolutely ages, and the lovely lady has just offered me this. Um, I believe it's like a sort of Turkish sort of quiche uh, with spinach. So uh, yeah, let's see how it is. So the food is absolutely amazing. I'm super thankful. So yeah, we're good. Right, so yeah, finally landed in Turkey. And my God, my I say, um, Turkish people and their hospitality, hospitality. All I'm saying is that they're really, really nice people and the flight attendants were absolutely amazing. Really, really nice people. The food was really, really nice as well. I've got nothing but good things to say about um, Turkish Airlines. Obviously, if they want to sponsor me and then give me a free uh, flight to Turkey, then I'm down. Obviously, shout my Turkish guys back in London. <laughs> Love, love, love. All right, all right, all right. We've got some good news, guys. About to board the plane to Dar es Salaam. There you go. Wish me a safe journey. Hey, guys, this is super random, right? But I've just bumped into this absolute legend. He's a tennis coach and he's from Miami. 
And, uh, and do you want to explain yourself and a little bit yeah. about what you do? So I played on the pro tour for 10 years and now I travel a lot coaching. Uh, I teach the coaches how to coach properly. And so we're doing a activity through my foundation called One Love Tennis. And we're going to uh, Dar es Salaam and we're bringing rackets, nets, balls, shoes, clothes, all sorts of stuff for the kids to come out, have a nice you know, week of tennis and just introduce them to the sport. And through the sport of tennis, be able to kind of grow as, uh, you know, people in the future. For sure, for and sure. so I think it links up pretty good with 100% what you do. One Love Tennis, man. Yo, we're going to make this happen and hopefully we can because, uh -huh. hey man, it's probably actual good. This guy is an absolute legend, dude. Let's definitely do this. Man. All right. I made up. it on your channel. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Take it easy, guys. Hi, ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alright, made it. So, literally about to board the plane. Got a bag of, bag of sweets for the kids. Dada Salam. Here we come, baby. What's up? <laughs> Alright, just landed in Tanzania with my good friend Augustino. We finally made it. So, we're gonna get a I think a bus or a taxi to we're gonna get a taxi to the bus and then we've got an eight to nine hour drive from the bus to the actual kindergarten um, so I'll update you guys in a bit ciao in the car right now and, uh, the makeshift door love it love it um, so yeah we're on the way to the bus station now and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be there soon because we've got a nine hour bus journey now so excited yeah excited <laughs> so um, after a crazy drive with uh, Augustino's best friend <laughs> uh, we literally just about made it onto the bus like literally right we just about made it uh, but yeah we're finally on the bus now so now it's an eight hour drive to uh, where's, where is it by the way what's what's it called uh, where we're going to yeah it's a beach called no, no what's it called what's oh, the name think of Mathinga City. So we're going to Mathinga City, which is an eight hour drive away. Uh, so yeah, we'll update you then. <laughs> Ciao. Augustino, what is what is this? Slice and meat. Meat, Mixed rice. And really vegetable. Amazing. It looks lovely. It looks amazing. Can't wait to have it. Um, I'll update you guys in a bit. Alright, so after a very long drive in the bus, uh, me and Augustino, we're now in a tuk tuk. Uh, this is our driver. <laughs> Alright, so we're just driving through the city now. <laughs> We're just pulling up to the school now. Uh, Have a look at this. These are all the kids. The school looks very cool, very nice. So we've just pulled up and uh, so we're just going to pay the guy and then I'll show you guys around. So Augustino is very famous around here, huh? He's very famous. All of the children, look, we have this little boy running over to Augustino now to come and surprise him. Hello. Hello? How do you say? Uh, Harubi, no? Habari. Habari. Eh? Habari? <laughs> Habari? Hello? Hello, buddy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Habari? Hello? Hello? <laughs> what, how, what's your name? Say it again. Esben Dennis Gete. <laughs> and how old are you? Nine. 
Nine. Wow, you're a big boy. Huh? And what's your name? Wow, that's a long name. And how old are you? Five years old. <laughs> all right, well, we finally made it to Tanzania and uh, yeah, we're finally at the school. And there's all of these lovely children. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah? Okay. Everybody just say cheese! Cheese! Hey guys, I'm going to give you guys a little tour around. So um, I'll start off with my bedroom. This is the bed that I'll be staying in. You know, it's not massive, but it's, uh, it's home. It's going to be home for the next uh, two months. But this is the playground. This is the school. Uh, manager's office. This is a car that we need to try and fix. Uh, this is our bathroom. Um, so, that's my shower and that's my toilet. I'm actually used to this in Bangladesh, funny enough. Growing up as a child, that's how we take our toilets and that's uh, how we actually have our showers. Just uh, you know, get the water out and just pour it over yourselves. Nothing too fancy. But it gets the job done. And these are the schools. So, I believe this one is for year two to three. And this is, I think, primary. The one at the end is for infants. The battery is just about to die, and I haven't, there's no internet connection or electricity here. So, uh, there's a well here where they get their water from. The water's not the cleanest. They're trying to dig another hole over there for a well for some water. Uh, this is a football pitch that I'm going to work on. I'm most definitely going to work on that and make some, some little ballers eventually. I'm going to head over to the kitchen now. Hello ladies, do you mind if I film? Yeah, this is, um, do you, how do you explain this? This is the cooker, the, yeah, this is, okay, so like the hob. Thank you, lady. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that was just a, a, just a quick tour of everything. So yeah, I'm gonna be here for two months. So this is my new home now. I did see the kids earlier, they were so adorable, man. Really, really cute. I'm gonna try and do as much as possible as I can, just to make it more fun for them. You know, try and build some, I don't know. I can, I can see that they got some swings over there, but they look a little bit, uh, <laughs> well, they, they, they definitely won't hold my weight. There's a lot of work to be done, for sure. There's a lot of work to be done. And yeah, I just got to go to the drawing board and see what I can put across to them to see, you know, what, how we can improve these kids' lives in, in any little way. But so far, you know, it's, they have everything that they really need and uh, that's what's important. I look forward to trying to teach, an, uh, teach them English, even though I can't even speak it myself, apparently. Lovely chef, Mr. Chef Augustino, has uh, cooked us this lovely. How would you how would you describe this? Um, eggy bread. Lovely. Look forward to it. Just how uh, the chef cooks the kids' porridge in the morning. It's very good, huh? What is, what is this? Beans. Beans. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Trouble. Yes? What do we write? So I'll go to bed and night. Yes? L is for leg. Okay. So J is for jug. J is for key. L is for leg. Abari! Abari! Hello! Okay. What do we say? Huh? Abari! Kula! I'm 
Ready, set, cheese! Yeah. Yay! Yay! So today, I'm finally making a nice curry for my friends Augustino and Madame. <laughs> so we have some potatoes and we have carrots with peppers, uh, onions, garlic and uh, tomatoes and uh, some curry powder and some curry powder so uh, yeah hopefully this should be very nice and uh, we have some lovely rice and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how it turns out all right so here you have it guys here's my uh, potato curry <laughs> with uh, with rice and um, but i've made for the guys so it's got potato carrots uh, peppers um, onions garlic and tomatoes so yeah i hope they really like it I'm sure they will, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's see. Hey, what's up everyone? So it's come to my attention that these guys here really need a lot of help, of course, um, but they mainly need funding for particular projects. Um, so they dug up a well and there's water at the bottom, but they need a solar panel somehow to extract the water up through a pump. I'm not 100% sure exactly how it works. All I know is that they need a solar panel and they need some funds to actually purchase the solar panel. Everything else is set up. They've got the, the pump ready and everything. As you can see down here, uh, this, this yellow tube is the water that goes all the way down to this uh, tanker down over there. I'll show you later. But yeah, they really need some funding here. Um, it's, it's tough. It is very tough. They need some clean water for sure. You know, I've been, I've been drinking some of their water and it's, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's not great. Yeah, I'm really seeking out for some help. If anyone can donate any money or anything towards this cause, uh, I would highly appreciate it. The school would highly appreciate it. Um, and if you believe in a higher power, I'm sure they would highly appreciate it as well. This is how they get their water from the well. We have this bucket here with uh, with a weight strapped to it let's just grab this like this and you just you just drop it it's gonna fill up with water and then you have to pull the bloody thing up old-fashioned way you know okay so after just pulling this up i'm gonna pour it into this bucket and then we're gonna take it down over here to pour it into a uh the kids water fountain so I've just emptied the water out and this, this is their water, okay? So, you know, this is where the children come to wash their hands. So you click down on that, the water just drips out. So this is the water. So as you can tell, I think it's, uh, it's pretty important that we get this, uh, this well sorted out as soon as possible to get them the cleanest possible water. We need to get this solar panel so that they can start pumping some uh, some proper water out. What is your name? My name is Anuk. How old are you Anuk? I'm five years old. Hey, five years old, huh? I love him though man, such a cute kid. But um, he's a lot of trouble. Trouble, trouble huh? Naughty yeah. boy, huh? Yes. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Uh, not you, Arsene. You are... Hey everyone, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you all for your donations and helping the school here at a joy kindergarten school. What do we say, kids? Thank you! <laughs> thank you!